My dear beloved children, well, to round up with our talk on destructive and constructive criticism, I would like to make a clearer definition of both of its types. As for the first type, everything is more or less clear. Any criticism conveying the negative energies of anger, hatred, aggression or censure can just make the object criticized gain strength be it a person or a situation and, consequently, is destructive by nature. So now, we will focus on what can be identified as constructive criticism. This is criticism that offers practical suggestions to overcome a complicated situation. But, before all, it is essential to understand the causes that resulted in it so as not to repeat the mistakes of the past. In other words, constructive criticism offers practical steps and solutions. And it applies to anything indeed, both your routine work and global problems. It is essential to learn to look at any situation not from inside but from outside. What does it mean? You cannot concentrate your attention only on the negative result trying to find those to blame for the things done. You should go beyond the surface and find the prerequisites of the things happened. Let us have a case study. During recent months there begins to get disclosed more and more information on violence over children which for many people comes as a real shock. But if you look at the situation in an impartial way you will see that all this has been taking place for a long time now. From time to time the information on this leaked into the mass media, with mindful people trying to sound the alarm. Nevertheless, most people preferred to take no notice of it. It was too shocking for them. Moreover, it did not concern them personally. In other words, these crimes were committed with the connivance of the majority of the planet inhabitants. Some people even suspecting of the crimes kept silent being afraid of high and mighty while some others preferred not to believe that it actually happened, everybody had reasons not to meddle in other people's business. Thus, due to taciturn consent of the people around pedophilia gradually became unpunished and gained appalling scale all around the world. And in this case constructive criticism will be not in the highlighting the search for those guilty since, in accordance with the universal law of unity, Everybody is to blame but in doing everything possible for this evil to become impossible to occur on earth from now on. What can be undertaken in this case? Beside the energy impulses of love directed to all the victims of violence each country citizens should show vigilance and demand of adoption of the laws that leave not a slightest loophole for the crimes like that. Unfortunately, my dear, separation that has been instilled into human society by reptiloids has resulted in indifference towards other people's sorrow and connivance of the gravest crimes so now it is high time to return to one origins and build new life on earth in compliance with unity principles and personal responsibility of everyone for all the things taking place on the planet today i would like to start a new topic and we will talk about the way you can destroy the last barriers separating the third dimension from the fourth and the fifth one that the conscious part of earth inhabitants are gradually coming into we will start building a new reality with you relying on the knowledge i have been giving to you on this site for almost five years those who have been reading messages since the first days of the site are likely to have noticed that all higher powers messages can be mostly reduced to one and the same thing it is possible to change the world only with the help of the energy of love. You have already been given hundreds of practices that help generate this divine energy and share it with your planet and the people around. And I am happy to see that many of you have really learned to apply this knowledge to everyday life. Yet, there is something in common that retards your progress in spiritual aspect. The notion of unconditional love for many still remains somewhat unachievable but it is such love that makes the basis of unity the one that is the very guarantee for success in building the society of the fifth dimension. But if this foundation turns out faulty, sooner or later all the building erected on it will collapse, too. Why is it so difficult for you to overcome this last obstacle? Before all, the reason is that the separation program that for thousands of years has been instilled into your conscience has taken root there to the extent that makes it possible only for few to destroy it in several years. And you should not blame it on yourself, my dear. For by a compulsory decision it is impossible to get rid of the things that have literally become your flesh. Your stereotype reactions still go off by inertia and you unintentionally divide people into ins and outs, good and bad, clever and silly, spiritual and unspiritual. As a matter of fact, it is true all the people are very different, and it is especially apparent nowadays when you are put under exceptional survival conditions due to the quarantine and masking imposed on you. At present, human vibrations vary greatly and due to this, true essence of each person is highlighted but can be disguised by no mask. Well, 
Have you thought why masking instructions suddenly became tougher and in some countries people cannot buy food not having put on a face mask? We have already spoken about the pernicious effect of masking on physical and psychic condition of people. But there is one more reason for this that few think of. This general depersonalization of people enables to smooth over vibration level of the revived part of humanity. The thing is that when a spiritually advanced person who features high level vibrations puts on a face mask, they automatically lose their individuality at the subconscious level that is the one being an essential index of their spirituality. While in a usual condition such a person shines emitting high vibration energies and generously sharing them with the people around, wearing a face mask they may pass in a crowd and their vibrations sharply fall. This is exactly the reason why masking regime conditions are made tougher by reptiloids who are desperately trying to keep afloat. In contrast to divine unity they are making attempts to create faceless and obedient unity of low vibration creatures ready to follow their orders in a dutiful way. Well, let us go on speaking about the way you can learn to love unconditionally still being in the world of the third dimension. At present the time has come when each human soul is undergoing the durability test almost every day. The world government that has had their days being in agony is trying to impose on people the rules to make even the calmest and most patient person generate negative energies of irritation censor and powerlessness to change anything. It is the last energy mentioned that I would like to talk about in detail today since until now we have not almost touched upon it. What lies behind the notion powerlessness to change the existing state of things? First of all, weakness lack of strength and energy depletion. Through this energy generation there is carried out tremendous pump down of human vitality. And since nature abhors a vacuum, all kinds of astral beings are rushing to take it in flaming in people discontent, aggression, annoyance, sorrow. As a result, one vibrations decrease sharply, while astral beings, reptiloids and those with their ilk get their first grade low vibration nourishment and access to these people conscience control. After the dress rehearsal of the play named coronavirus that according to its producers was a success, they finally made a decision to announce the first night in compliance with the well tested on your planet scenario of gradual instilling of the programs they need. They decided that the programs of fear for the invisible enemy and masking have already fixed in the subconscience of the overwhelming majority of the planet population. So, they went further making masking not voluntary but obligatory charging enormous fines for disobedience. Thereby, they provoke people for powerful outbursts of the energy of powerlessness to change anything, and as a way out of this situation they are going to offer salvational vaccine. In other words, they decided to nag people into doing anything just to get rid of exhausting masking and the nightmare imposed on them. And so far they have everything running smooth. But let us come back to the energy of powerlessness. Another side of it is recognition of oneself being a slave of the situation and consequently, denial of one divine origin and ability to create one reality by power of thought and energy. It is the suppression of the freedom of will that has always been the main tool of reptiloids. They are perfectly aware of their being powerless in the face of human creator that is why from the times immemorial their main purpose has been to turn tremendous human energy potential of people in their favor. And since the most powerful energy in the universe is love, it is love that they were and are trying to pervert, suppress and reduce to the level of owner attachment to one family, which is typical of them themselves. While a person emitting unconditional love endangers their life just like weapon of mass destruction. Yet, this weapon hits only dark low vibration creatures embodied as humans, those who cannot live in the divine energy of love. For pure human souls this energy is a cleansing and sobering shower that washes away all the dirt of the third dimension world that's stuck on them and breaks up bundles of astral beings that every minute are waiting for more lapse of a person so as to fall on their food. And you should have a clear idea of it, my dear, since with earth vibrations increasing more and more, Many of you will start seeing the subtle level and it should not make you frightened, just show you what things really are. As a follow up to my previous message, now we will speak about how you can transform the energy of powerlessness in the face of the situation that arose into the energy of creativity and constructive endeavor of the new reality where humanity is to live in the nearest future now. And as it has been repeatedly mentioned in my messages, while you cannot change the situation at the physical level all at once, it is quite possible for you to change it in terms of energy and unconditional love is the best to help you here since it is this energy that is a building material that higher dimensions reality is made of. Try to imagine it as a sparkling golden cloud with which you wrap the room you are in, the people, your house, city, 
country and planet and at the same time imagine the things you would like to see. For example, entering a shop and see gloomy people wearing face masks. Imagine the energy of unconditional love dissolving these masks, as well as all the negative emotions connected with the quarantine. Thereby the space itself is getting transformed, for not a single negative energy or astral being can withstand the shine of unconditional and unlimited love. Imagine that people take off suffocating muzzles in confusion looking around as if having revived from lethargy and realizing how absurd the situation they allowed to be forced into was. They are noticeably getting revived begin smiling and shining in the rays of this divine energy enveloping them. Visualize this image as clear as possible. Such new reality will show not at once not immediately in front of you but first at the subtle level and in the conscience of the people who found themselves in your unconditional love flow purifying the space around. And, of course, not all the people can withstand these high vibration energies but only pure human souls, the ones who are to live on the earth of the fifth dimension. Therefore, do not get surprised if your impulse will, on the contrary, result in some people aggression to you or other people. This way low vibration creatures embodied as humans will be trying to maintain their usual condition. While a human being will always accept this energy with love and gratitude as dear and native, while their conscience will start absorbing it eagerly getting transformed into high vibration divine one. Yet, always remember that you can share this miracle, this all purifying love only when you yourself are brimming with it and believe in yourself. This is exactly the meaning of the saying, you must be the change you want to see in the world. And next time we will talk about the way you can learn to remain in the state of unconditional love all the time and not to spill it over the edge in the daily routine and hardships. Well, what should you do so that unconditional love state settles in your energy space forever? It may sound ironic, but you do not need to do anything for this because any doing includes reasoning, while in this case it is mind that should be completely isolated. Only naked pure soul can maintain in one the state of unconditional love. Only for soul this energy is native, usual and dear, and it does not have to make any efforts to remain in it all the time. In other words, you have to learn to live on your soul in its own right. I know that many of you are wondering how they can love a reptiloid, murderer, rapist or satanist. Well, you do not have to love them. In the reality you find yourself in, neither you nor they need this. They do not need this because the energy of love kills them, as for you a dual world person conscience cannot accept the atrocities they commit. The thing you should really do is to stop nurse their evil deeds on your thoughts and negative energies of fear, aggression or censure. These are exactly the energies they long for, not your love that can turn fateful to them. I know that it is hard for you to understand this, but try to imagine reptiloids and other low order creatures embodied as humans as predators capable of surviving in this world only consuming others. Well, you cannot hate tigers, lions, foxes or wolves for this. Anyway, it is such animals that reptiloids are in spite of the fact that in appearance they look like humans. With the best will in the world they cannot develop spiritually and cannot love the way only humans can do. Therefore, take it for granted and do not waste your energy and spiritual strength on their salvation or censure. You should understand that unconditional love exists on its own. It should not be directed to someone or something. It should just be in life inside you as your divine origin manifestation. It should become as natural and dear for you as it is for your soul. It should overflow you and spill over the edge since it is so unconditional and unlimited that it is ready to embrace the whole world every single living being. And it is no problem of yours with this living being isn't if they are ready to accept your gift. Then the laws of the universe come into power, and everything happens to the greater good of all, which is beyond human mind restricted by the third dimensionality. Well, now when you know that unconditional love is energy that lives on its own and does not need any control for your side, you can ask yourself a question, what is my role here then? And it is in your becoming a part of this energy and remaining within its flow under any circumstances. Of course, it is not easy to do but there have already been offered so many practices on this issue to you that each of you can choose something to your liking. Yet, I will offer one more practice to you a universal and easy one so that you develop a stereotype reaction, not the one artificially instilled into your subconscience by the dragon race this time but the one originating from the deep of your soul and your genetic memory. We will call this practice divine flame. Try to imagine there is an ever burning fire of divine flame inside you. This is the flame of your soul. It was once inflamed by me, and you have carried it along through millennia and numerous incarnations in a variety of worlds. You have experienced so much pain and sorrow, joy and happiness. You were born into a poor and rich life 
as men and women, healthy and disabled, beautiful and ugly you have gained the unique experience of the dual world life and despite all this the fire inflamed by me has not extinguished sometimes it flared up brightly and some other time it was hardly smoldering yet you managed to keep it anyway and prevent it from dying once and for all so now my dear the time has come to give free scope to it so that it lightens the way to the fifth dimension not only to you but also to many other people who will follow you. For this you should imagine it as often as possible arising from your heart chakra and its steady gentle flame embracing your fifth, sixth, seventh chakras and pineal gland. You will feel nice heat running all over the upper part of your body. But this will be not a burning fire but a loving and caressing one. You should remember this feeling really well so that you can immediately revive it when they will be trying to upset your balance. Every time when you find yourself in trouble make it a habit. First of all, to focus your attention on how brightly your divine fire is burning and do not let the negative emotions from without to affect the flame of your soul. If you learn to maintain it in the state of even burning, all the negative emotions and thoughts of yours and those of the people around will get dissolved in its high vibrations burn down in the divine flame of unconditional love. And imagine millions of human souls all around the globe with their inner facula of unconditional love. Admire this wonderful sight and recall it in your memory as often as possible. It is high time to tell you about what the creatures controlling your planet really are. At present, when there has appeared quite a lot of information on actual state of affairs in politics, finance, medicine, filmmaking, show business and what tools for human conscience control are involved, I can tell you in more details how people engaged in this, who are most often inhuman, are connected with the subtle level of earth and who their actual master is. Why have I decided to tell you about this just now? First of all, because of the fact that even my series of messages about the astral world and reptiloids for some people turn out shocking. The conscience of many of you was not ready yet to accept such information. But now, with documentary evidence of the things mentioned in the higher powers messages becoming more and more numerous, you will be able to perceive the knowledge new and unusual to you in an adequate way. As it was mentioned earlier, collective reptiloid conscience possesses a clear-cut and ramified structure as an energy net enveloping earth and it resembles honeycombs. It can be compared with circulatory system of man in which blood is made to circulate all around the body by the heart. But in this case, a pump like this driving energy through all the reptiloids embodied as humans is the so-called Archon. This is a dark being who has absorbed the enormous amount of negative energy that he gathers like tribute not only from his subordinates reptiloids and other low vibration creatures embodied as humans but also from people generating negative energies. Some people confuse Archon with Lucifer who for many is associated with devil or demon. Yet, while Lucifer has opportunity for spiritual growth, Archon is an embodiment of the evil in all its manifestations. This is the evil as it is, and its evolution towards light isn't possible due to its origin. How on earth could Creator allow it to happen? You can ask, and I will answer your question. This evil was not created artificially. It resulted from involution, moral lapse of many and many civilizations that traveled the long and poignant road of their development wandering away now this direction, now that one now moving towards light now falling down into dark again. Thereby, the universe gradually has nurtured this monster insatiable consumer of the energies of the lowest vibrations. As long as more and more civilizations turn to light, making him starve he learned to act in a more and more sophisticated way so that his source of nourishment does not cease. He was constantly searching for new providers of the energies needed, and the dragon race turned out to be the number one variant. Well, let us go on talking about what Archon is and about the part played by him in all the events taking place on Earth now. Unfortunately, it is the most direct and even the leading one. But to enable you to get a better idea of how he has managed to succeed in this, we will have to return to remote past to the time when reptiloids appeared on your planet. So as to consolidate here once and for all and not just consolidate but take key posts in all the political, social, religious and financial establishments all over the world. They needed the uniting principle, a certain system of beliefs tightly fastening together the top of their authority high caste reptiloids who know about their origin and their uniting principle like this became Archon. Having concentrated all the kinds of negative energies existing in the universe, he has also acquired a whole army of servants as demons each of whom specializes in some certain type of negative energy. Thus, there are demons of hatred, offense, jealousy, greed, cruelty aggression. They are also subjects to their own hierarchy, 
with the most powerful of them being demons feeding on the energy of sadism. Yes, my dear, do not be surprised, such energy also exists in the universe and it has numerous shades and nuances. It includes not only physical tortures of man but also moral ones such as purposeful and unceasing humiliation that can be manifested in any way from verbal insult to beating. But the height of sadism and the most desired energy for Archon is the energy of fear of death and especially death suffering of a child being accompanied by slow and cruel torture of their flesh. And at the very moment of the sufferer transition beyond the veil their pineal glands accretes a certain substance in your world called Adrenochrome which is the universal means for rejuvenation and gaining strength. Why does it possess qualities so unique? The only reason is that innocent creature death as poignant allows their soul to immediately get where a soul of a person leaving the physical level in a calm and peaceful condition gets only on the 40th day. So, during these fractions of a second the soul transition to higher worlds is physically expressed in a mission of this unique substance containing immortality code. This is human genetic code as it is and soul takes it away after its physical body death to the higher worlds where it rests till its next incarnation. And only under extraordinary circumstances when one death, and especially a child death, results from sadistic actions to them, this code shows at the physical level for a split second which their torturers are well aware of. Thus, the energy of sadism the concentration of the most disgusting negative energies for some fractions of a second provokes the emission of another concentrated energy divine one that saving the human soul from unbearable tortures throws it over right to the higher world so as to immediately delete the memory of the nightmare experienced. And such concentration of this energy is required for the soul to get opportunity to push off and make a spurt and in this case it pushes off from the physical level the location where the crime was committed. Here we will stop for today. Love you endlessly. Father Absolute spoke to you.